Hey Activity Tips, this is just a few quick um, housekeeping bits and pieces that might help you when you're dealing with e-activity. So we'll open an e-activity and file new in case there's anything there. Nope, there isn't now. First off is uh, the bottom of the screen here always reflects the settings that we had in the main application. So whatever you had in main when you open and start a new e-activity, these tend to be reflected in it down here. Um, when you're using this uh, surface here, note whether we've got, at the moment, the cursor is ready for some text entry. If I get a keyboard up and um, go to the, here it is, we've got text entry. And oh, where did the Z come from? Let's backspace that one. When I tap execute, it's kind of gone on to a new line. If I tap execute here, it's treated as a text surface. As soon as I toggle this fella, then we're now working as a math surface. We could multiply or take, say, 12, take 4, tap, execute, and we get a result. So always be uh, mindful of whether you want to be working with text or numbers or some mathematical calculation. Um, when we come to insert strips, let me, uh, here we go, we'll go back to being a text line now. There's insert, and then we've got the choice of strip one, all of these different applications on ClassPad. And under strip two, we've got some more. Some of them such as verify, um, and I think under text one here, we've got notes. This is the only place you'll find um, these two applications easily when you're in an e-activity. So let's say we wanted to insert a numSolve strip. We tap onto numSolve like that. Um, Obviously, to close this, we just tap on the word solve there. If I wanted to put another strip in now, there's also, apart from using this menu, we could use the, where is my cursor? Let's put it down there, the drop down box here. And if you know your icons and your way around ClassPad, you can see solve was the last one I put in. So if I tap solve, it puts another copy of solve in on the line. If I want to tidy up my activity, maybe get rid of this space in here. Under edit, there's delete line, and it's kind of reduced that white space. If I wanted to push a, um, a white line in here, insert a text row, and well, that's put one down there, so I think I should have been on the top strip, insert a text row, and that's put in a text row. Obviously, insert a calculation row, would put in a um, calculation row, but I could just toggle it off and turn it back into a text row. Um, when you're creating formulas in Solve here, um, if you wanted to get some fairly unusual or kind of model the formulas you're seeing in a math textbook, something like uh, we might have some Greek letters, maybe alpha is equal to x2 minus x1. So then we uh, head off to the ABC and put in our variable X. But then from the math, we can head down through here and find some subscripts. X1 minus back to the ABC, X math 2. So, and when we tap execute, you notice ClassPad is happy for us to use those variables with um, subscripts in them as well. Um, there's more, um, and under the Greek, there's more, and symbols, particularly when we're working in text mode, there's quite a lot of um, to choose from here.